what's going on youtube this your boy gg mix yet with another video and today we're going to talk about the very exciting news right now about serato dj 4.0 serato just released a new update 4.0 and today i'm going to show you the five best things that i think is a game changer to serato now, I understand if you're somebody who use a different system already, you probably already had those. But for the people that's only use Serato DJ Pro, this is a game changer for sure. So, let's get into the video. Alright you guys, like I said, Serato just released a brand new update and is a game changer so let's see what they have changed so when you just open up Serato it's gonna go to your main library pretty much um, now there's a few things you guys may have seen already of RIP but we're gonna touch on everything we're gonna talk about everything so the first thing that I want to talk about is the crates colors now if you're looking right here on the left side I have some crates that are green I have some that are red um, and even in inside of that I have different colors and all of that like let me show you inside of genre I have different colors right I have different colors for um, certain type of genre of music so the very first thing now let me show you how you do it is pretty simple which is the first feature that I think is a game changer It all depends on how you want to set up your crates and all of that. I understand that. But for me, it's a game changer because each color represents something different. So the best way to do that, let's create a new crate. So you can see this is a brand new crate. Let's call it new crate. So creative, right? So this is our new crate. Obviously, we don't have any music and the songs in there. You can do it with a brand new crate or you can do it with an existing crate. So right now with the new crate, you right click onto that crate. You see where it says select crate color. You click on this. You select whichever colors you want based on all of these colors. So right here, you select any of these colors for your crate. So let me just put purple. So our new crate now is purple. So this is the feature number one. I know, I know, it is not a big deal if you've been using DJ Pro, if you've been using um, Virtual DJ, if you use all the type of system that has these features, this is not a big deal. But for people that's only use Serato DJ Pro or DJ Lite, this is a big deal. And the next feature we want to talk about today is the Analyze. Back in the day, or I would say back then, before this new update, every time you upload some new songs into this crate, you would have to manually go in there and analyze all of your music one by one, just so you can get the BPM, the key, you know, the information. Now, you don't even have to do that anymore. If Once you drop a crate into the system, the moment the folder comes in there, it will automatically analyze it. And the biggest thing about that is, it's not just going to analyze it when you don't have your DJ controller plugged in. It will analyze it even when you mid-set, even when you already have your controller plugged in. Back then you couldn't do that. But now, the moment you drop the music in there, it will analyze it and let you know the BPM, the key, and all of that information. Now, the third thing, which I think is a big deal especially for me I don't know about other people but this is a big deal for me is the fact that you can rate your music now what do I mean by rating again guys I know they'll come for me in the comments I know other platforms may have had that already but I don't use other platform as of right now I'm only using Serato DJ Pro so you know I like it so let's go to all of my music as you can see on the left side, it says rating, right? I can set all of my music by ratings. Now, when it comes to the rating, you can rate it five stars, four stars, three stars, however you want to do your rating system. Now I decide to pick fire because I like fire the best, 
but you can do whatever you want so let's say you want to rate this you right click or if you're using the Mac two finger click um, and then this menu should pop up now when it pops up it says select rating emoji once you click on that you have a ton of emojis that you can select for your rating system so I'm gonna just use this crate right here and put rating now you see my rating system just showed up let's say I want this song to be let's change the emoji instead of fire we can change the emoji to whatever we want we can put this crate as um, a bomb you may not see it but until you click it and this is where our five bombs you know it's at instead of five stars or instead of five fire emoji three two you know however many you want to do I can rate the song as I'm playing if I like it I can rate it if I don't like it I can put let's say I don't like this song I can put an evil face it just means that I don't like it you know whatever that emoji means to me that's what it means to me you get what I'm saying reason I'm saying is a big deal because instead of going into the comments put comments like don't play this don't do this don't do that you know it's, it's longer once you have the rating in there you can simply click on there you select okay you have an evil face it means that you don't like this song or it didn't perform well at whatever event or at this wedding or at this gig or something like that so I really think the rating is a big deal and if you know if you use it smartly it can make your gigs flawless in a sense now the fourth thing we are going to talk about so let's go put this location on as you can see this is in a folder on my laptop it's called the flea market now I'm gonna put all the six songs into the new purple crate we had created so now in this crate I got six songs right now the newest thing is now I can actually add some of my Apple music songs into that same folder let's just say now I'm doing this folder and then I want to do a few songs let's say this one I'm just selecting random songs right now so let's just say I want to do this song I'll go back to where the folder is and then drag another six songs into that same folder now when I go to this folder now I have 12 songs what does that mean in general it means that now we don't have to keep switching from our regular local library to the streaming library and that works with Apple music Spotify SoundCloud and all of that you can mix both of them together and play from that now keep in mind again for you to have a streaming library like that you have to have internet and then you have to subscribe and all of that that's a whole complete video but I'm just saying for the people that uses this system you can have both type of music into one folder and then play from that as long as you have good internet you're good to go now the fifth thing I want to talk about let's just say does a folder you work a lot every day you go into this folder it doesn't matter what type of gigs you're doing or anything like that you know you're gonna go to this folder again we can apply everything we just talked about we can put this color code into this folder inside of the folder we can rate the music and all of that you know for the whatever emoji we want to put in this is a bonus tips we can even set the folders into alphabetical order this is a bonus tip you go in here and then you set it up however you want to set it up date created or custom or alphabetical so you can set it up like that now the biggest thing is you can actually right click and select it as favorite now the moment you select it as a favorite crate it's still down there where it's at but if you scroll all the way to the top 
is right here. This is our crate that we just selected as favorite with our 12 songs in there. How does that help you guys? Let's say you have a gig this Saturday. You have a gig next week or whenever, right? Instead of you keep going into this folder back and forth, you put all the songs that you're going to play for the night in that same folder, and then you hit it as favorite. Automatically, the moment you hit it as favorite, it's going to go towards the top. Now, once it goes towards the top, you can start playing from there. Once the gig is finished, you simply click on there, and then you remove it from favorites. It goes back down to the folder where it's supposed to be at, and then now you're good. Now you can select the next folder and then just hit favorite, and then it goes right back up. Again, guys, these are not big, big changes like that, especially, like I said, for people who's been using other systems. But for us, Serato users, these are good. So far, it makes my life easier. It makes me being able to play my music, doing gigs and all of that a lot easier because sometimes we set up the folders and then it all depends on how many folders you have, the amount of music you got and, you know, timing, you're running late. You may not be able to get yourself all the way together. But with this type of system, color coding, rating, you're good to go. It makes it easier. It's not like it's like the greatest thing ever created, but... It's a big deal. Again, smallest things I didn't talk about. Back then, you couldn't right-click or you couldn't, you know, click on the folder, you know, for these options to pop up. It don't matter if you're on the streaming platform. You still got a few options. Or even if you're in your music library, right-click. Now you got a few more that you can do with the right-click. Again, all of these are little bonus. I know I only spoke about the main five for me because I use them. But not like crazy like that. It is not such a big deal for me. The same way, if you have a song, you can see where is it located at. If it's in a different crate, um, you can change the BPM to a half or double if you need to. If you feel like the BPM is wrong, you can rescan, analyze. You can locate and see what folders this song is at. If it's in different folders or different crates, you can find that. Another bonus is... Once you click on a certain crate, nowadays it will tell you all the way towards the bottom. It will tell you how many songs you have in that crate. Like in this crate right now, it's telling me I have 247 songs. That's going to be a 15 hours and 27 minutes long, which is 2.72 gig. Why does that information matter? To a lot of people, it doesn't. But I can see how somebody would benefit from that means if you want to prep real fast for like a quick hour or two hours or something like that, once you drop in song, it's going to tell you how long the entire folder is. So you know if you got to add more or if you got to remove some. But then again, somebody like me, if I'm doing a two-hour gig, I'm going to have enough songs for like four hours. Just in case the people are like, you know what, we want you to stay for another hour or two. Now I'm not going crazy looking for the next song because I was already prepared. However long that I have, I have it for the time and a half or double. So if I'm doing a four hour gig, at least I'm going to have six, seven hours in that same crate. So here you have it guys. You have a good five features from the DJ Serato Pro that you can like and appreciate, you can start playing around with. And then you have a few others that is not a big deal to me. So that's why I only spoke about this main five. If you want more details about the rest of them, I'm more likely to do another video about that. But I'm sure there's a ton of other people making this type of videos, especially right now. So there's plenty of videos. Thank you again very much for tuning in. I appreciate you guys. We are currently at almost 10,000 subs. Thank you guys. Thank you to everybody who have subscribed, watched these videos. A lot of you guys weren't watching the entire video, which is cool. I get it. Not everybody like tutorial videos and all of that, but we are at almost 10,000 subs in about 
three months. So it's a big deal. I am hoping to make it to the entire 10,000 by the end of December. But we'll see. It's up to you guys. So again, if you like this type of videos, make sure you go down in the comment. If there's anything else, any features I didn't talk about, any, any features that you actually don't care about, leave it in the comment down below. Let me know that this thing sucks or oh, I use this, I use that. You know, whatever you want to say. So even if you ain't got nothing to say, say something because it still have the channel. You get what I'm saying? You know, let me know where you come from or something. I don't know. Don't be weird. Just, you know, just don't be weird. But again, thank you. See you in the next video.